from WPTV, Florida's top-rated television station. This is News Channel 5 at 5.30. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jay Cashman. And I'm Shannon Kang. Thanks for staying here with us tonight. Students at One Treasure Coast High School had an unexpected three-day weekend after vandals shut down the school for a day. Covering Port, Fort Pierce tonight, where News Channel 5's John Shaman reports on this apparent senior prank taken too far. Students arriving at the Fort Pierce Westwood campus Monday morning were greeted by sheriff's deputies and told to go home. You can't see the campus from the entranceway, but one person who saw the school described it like this. It looked like a tornado went through that place. The school's head of security discovered the vandalism before the day started, and parents were contacted through the school's emergency telephone system. Initially, it looked like maybe there was some hazardous materials that might have been used. It now looks like those are eggs and mayonnaise and mustard and ketchup put together. There's a mess. Some signs were damaged, garbage cans overturned, and a pipe pulled off a restroom wall. The superintendent says there was no other structural damage to the building, but at a prominent spot in the hallway, dimes that spelled out 2010 were super glued to the floor. Outside, toilet paper was hurled into the trees around the school. As to who or how many suspects may be involved, the school district says it has a pretty good idea. That's because there are 14 surveillance cameras surrounding the Westwood campus, and that tape is now being watched here at the St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office. Robert Jones says this incident should serve as a wake-up call to parents. You can have a good kid get with the wrong crowd and uh, do some bad things. And the superintendent says this incident won't be taken lightly. It's normally viewed as a prank, but this prank is going to cost thousands of dollars of cleanup. It costs a day of school. Uh, it disrupts teachers' plans. By the early afternoon, many of the district's maintenance vans were leaving campus. The school is scheduled to reopen tomorrow. In Fort Pierce, John Shaman, WPTV, News Channel 5.